I can't say I'm surprised to have received what appears to be a treasure trove of very, very bad news for well-sponsored and somewhat liked Magic the Gathering streamer Jeff Hoogland. My interactions with him are basically him spurging out on stream, telling people how to be better, how to be better people, telling people how to talk, telling people the type of language they should use, telling everybody from on high, on his high horse, about how to be righteous, basically. Uh, I had a couple sources send me a uh, Reddit post that was posted by um, Jeff's brother. I didn't report on it at the time because who the fuck cares, right? It's family drama. Um, but then more emails started coming in from different people. And this whole Reddit message, maybe it stirred up some digging. Maybe it stirred up some skeletons in Jeff's closet. But you might be asking yourself, if you haven't already auto disliked this video, why the fuck is Jeremy even talking about this guy? Why, why can't he just talk about board games? Believe me, I would love to. In fact, my originally scheduled video was top five things I still love about Magic the Gathering. And uh, I hope to still release that tonight around 7 p.m. So if you don't want to hear this, that's fine. You don't have to watch it. I take particular umbrage with those that would stick their finger in the face of other Magic players and tell them that they aren't living life correctly or that they are wrong for their own beliefs. In general, I don't like anybody who brings politics into gaming at all. Jeff Hoogland, on the other hand, uh, is well known for this. Well known for lording over players holier than thou. Um, and uh, it's interesting. His brother posted, um, I am uh, Jeff Hoogland's brother. Throughout his entire life, he has always forced his views, whether it be by telling people they should use Linux or how they should handle the relationship or how or what they should be permitted to say to uh, people. The funny thing is, Jeff has always been an asshole. He tried to get my now wife to leave me because him and I were having different views on relationships and how they should be handled. Luckily, my wife is awesome and told his ass off because we have the same views on relationships. This is either a pub publicity stunt. This is about him screaming and, and crying about being a good person. Remember, Jeff is going to tell you the whole time. Keep in mind, Jeff Hoogland tells you how to be a good person. Clearly, Jeff Hoogland must know how to be a good person. He talks about being accepting and wanting to hear both sides, but as soon as you oppose him, he will block you. And I'm not just talking about in his safe spaces. I'm talking about completely cutting off multiple members of his family because he refuses to leave certain subjects alone. Basically, if you don't agree with what Jeff says, he will completely remove you from his life instead of being an adult and not talking to you about certain things that trigger him. This is right. This is a life lesson, folks, okay? I have friends that proudly declare themselves socialists. I couldn't be further from that in terms of political ideology, but we hang out, we go to brewer games together, we play music together, we go to concerts together, we get along because politics don't have to be your whole life. Uh, it takes a very small mind to think only in that spectrum. In addition, he preaches about being a stay-at-home dad and about all this other stuff, yet his special needs sons takes a bus to school because he's too lazy to drive himself. His other kid is in daycare over 40 hours a week because he's too lazy to actually take care of him. His kids literally draw all over the walls in their house. Their living room has no lights because the kids broke them due to him not watching them. They also broke their shower door because they weren't being watched. They, there is literally food embedded in their carpets because they don't clean up after their kids. They also adopted a dog that were going to give it back because it was, quote, too much work. My other brother adopted the dog then. Jeff wanted to charge him for the dog crate and other things that the dog had. In terms of my relationship with him, uh, the only time myself or pretty much anyone else in our family hears from him is when he needs something. 
He never just calls to chat like I do with my other family members and my other brother. He would only reach out if he needed something. Even from a young age, when we were growing up, he was always the one trying to get out of do anything and doing anything in terms of chores and responsibilities. And when he did, he would always do the bare minimum. Now, you can read through all of this should you want. It's out there. It's been archived. I've had the archive link sent to me multiple times. But this sums up very similarly to how I expected him to be in real life. And it's important that you understand that those who are constantly preaching to you about how to live your life often have plenty of issues on their own. This man is not a role model. And about the kids, look, kids can be a handful, okay? But uh, you discipline them. I can tell you this, if I drew all over my walls, uh, my ass would have been red and I would never would have done it again. Uh, unfortunately, when you're Jeff Hoogland, you're too busy telling everyone else how to uh, live and how to be a good human. And you might say, Jeremy, do you have any proof that his walls are all colored on? Uh, yes, I do. These are his actual walls. This is his actual disgusting living room right? In which he has several kids. And you might be saying, Jeremy, you're being too hard on him. Look, I don't think I am. Because when you put yourself up on a pulpit to tell people what is right and how they should act and how they should speak, I'm going to be here to show them exactly how you act. This is not being a good father. This is not being a good role model for your kids. And this looks like being extraordinarily lazy. Okay, it's not just the multiple colors all over the wall that looks like it's been there forever. It's the matted down carpet. It's the garbage piles in the corner. It's the kid's lunchbox strewn out. By the way, I cut out. There was other stuff in this picture that proved it was his living room, but obviously I cut that out. But uh, it is. Uh, what kind of what kind of person uh, would you know? It's curious to me that when you're spending your days telling people how to act, how to um, use their time, you would think this person must uh, have their life in order, but they do not. Uh, and what if I told you that I could prove the claim that Jeff Hoogland went out of his way to message his brother's fiance to try and get her to break up with him over politics. What if I told you I have the message? What if I told you that I have the whole conversation? Hmm? What if I told you that? Oops. Jeff Hoogland, 3 2 2016, 10 a.m. Good luck with Tim. I th that must be his brother's name. Uh, I hope you love him for the sexist bigot that he is. Hopefully someday he will learn to care about something other than the almighty dollar, says the guy that streams on the internet uh, for tips and subscribers, right? Her reply, I do really love him, and he does care a lot. He's very passionate about everything he cares about, and I know that causes problems between you guys. He wants to get along with you. If he didn't, uh, I wouldn't, he wouldn't have built the computer for you. I know I can't convince either of you to get along, and I'm not going to try. I don't have a problem with you, and I've enjoyed chances we've had to talk together as well. I love Tim, and that's not likely to change. To which hero level Jeff Hoogland, hero level woman respecter. Wish you luck every time I spend enough time distant from him to start interacting with him again. He goes on and spews something racist, sexist, or to belittle being a parent. Now, I have seen no indication of him being a racist or sexist. This is the language of the Puritans. This is the language that people like Jeff use while standing up on his high horse 
and screaming down at you, the pleb, who's watching him about how to be a good person. Would a good person privately go behind their brother's back to spew vitriol about them and try to break up a marriage? Pretty sure you get your ass kicked for something like that around my house. And that doesn't even go into the fact that they're family. This is despicable. It makes me believe everything that his brother posted on Reddit. Saying he constantly uses the word nerd in a derogatory fashion and constantly on his Twitter feed. I found over a dozen there. Personally, I did not give a shit. However, when I was younger, I was bullied. And the word nerd was used as derogatory fashion by the people bullying. It could, quote, trigger someone that is weak. So it should not be being used by Hoogland logic. I mean, this is, um, this is, this is not surprising to me. When people are going out of their way to tell you what is important, to tell you how to act, to tell you what words to use. All you need to do is just know that their shit is likely the furthest from what they're telling you to do. Do as I say, not as I do. The Jeff Hoogland way.